What a great day for Byron Sonny. What a great day for his supporters. What a great day for his family. A great day uh, for our justice system. Oh, it's just generally a great day. It's Byron Sonny, yeah. you're a free man. I know. This is, uh, yeah, I've been waiting long to do this. You don't have to check in until <laughs> <laughs> I can actually, I can talk to people on the phone. I can actually, you know, I, I, not that I care about Twitter. That's mostly for morons. At the same time, I can be a moron again on the internet. You know, I can actually talk to friends. You don't have to be like go at home at eleven with your parents being on Twitter. It's just, it's just an utter vindic vindication of everything. And I think you'll, if you go back and look at the original footage, I think you'll, you'll see that I've been consistent the whole way through. Always told the truth, always said I would be acquitted, and, you know, I deliver. So, well, these guys don't deliver. So what do you I'm plan sorry, to do I'm sorry, I'm just now? totally high on happiness right now. What's, it, what's the first thing you do now that this is all over after all these years? Uh, there's a bar in Kensington about three kilometers away. <laughs> that's the first plan. So we're going we're gonna to have a bit of, uh, bit of a shindig. After that, it's about uh, trying to get my life uh, back in order, get my uh, career uh, rehabilitated, get my certifications back, and just you know, try to get on with things. Byron, it's been two years. What has this done to your life? Uh, it's, it's hard for me to... Yeah. Um, I think it's almost been harder on more or harder on my parents than it has been on me. So my single biggest failure through this whole thing is not a failure. Not grasping the splash back it has on other people and how it affects it. And nobody's ever high on it. So but uh, I mean obviously the biggest most painful thing through this was you know is leaving you know, my marriage fall apart and being abandoned that way. And it would be nice to be able to walk out of the courthouse and her arms, but that's just not gonna happen. Really. But otherwise this is this is about as good as it gets. Like I can't believe how good this feels. You know, just just to be completely vindicated. And our trial judge today found that there was no evidence suggesting that anybody shot had in. any intention to disrupt or harm anything or anyone uh, relating to the G20. And that was the reason why he was put before the courts in the first place. Uh, there was nothing supporting that before the court. Uh, and he's exonerated on that issue, and that's an important uh, fundamental issue for Byron. Kind of good. I mean, maybe a speaking tour, giving presentations and things at first. I don't think I'll be getting any RCMP forensic contracts. So. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. It was clearly, even from you know, reading over the trial and things, it looks pretty clear that if it wasn't for the G20, none of this would have really been caught. So it's just, it's just a good example of security theater. Yeah, that was the longest. I've ever heard a judge read. She was very thorough. She was. She was. She was pretty solid. Well done. I actually have one of those now. Do you see? There you go. Yeah, that was one of your conditions. I remember. And someone, just so we're not taking too much of his time. <laughs> I have him here, 
Yes, he was one of the more high-profile arrests during the G20 summit, and now Byron Sonny is free to go. Uh, you have uh, been acquitted on all five charges. All charges. And a very strong vindication. So how do you feel? Uh, it, it feels like, you know, like the has been lifted off her shoulder, you know. It's like it, my life for the last few years has been on pause. The life, my parents have been on pause. My brother and his wife have been on pause. What is my future going to look like? Trying to find employment, you can't commit to uh, you know. Who wants a higher guy that can be going away? You know, like how do you get in a relationship when you might be going away? You know, so it's like two years of being in stasis, it was agony. You know, and, but now it's just like I feel, you know, like the first time like a ten-year-old kid feels when he hops on a bike, but I learned to ride a bike like once, so that, maybe that's about example. But you know, like that's what getting, you know, I just ah. Well, the judge was not convinced beyond a reasonable doubt that you had these chemicals in your home for the purpose of, uh, of making explosives. Talk to us about uh, what you were doing. Um, oh, man. <laughs> kind of a... Someone said you were just guilty of looking guilty. Yes, that's to a large extent, yeah. I mean, like, you paint a pretty good picture. Yeah, don't be, don't be, don't be playing with someone sort of picks you up on this from what a lot of people would say. But it was a combination of, you know, A, like a legitimate interest, proven, a legitimate interest in high power rocketry, as well as just trying to sort of, you know, determine exactly how the government monitors us. What kind of trouble can you get in for buying certain things? What do they what do they notice? Um, you know, just So what do you do now? Just give it what what do you do? You're still at the courthouse about to to leave, start your life over. What's the first thing you do? Uh, first thing is a couple of pints of beer. I know nothing. And just, just being with my friends and people who supported me for the whole time just to, to show my appreciation for them. Um, and then tomorrow will be uh, I'll probably interviews here and there, but uh, you know, start like get my website back up, you know, start to uh, you know get my uh, security and CISSP certification back. Um, and just start, you know, just, just once more into the breach, just just run in there and just start trying to trying to work and get my game out there. No pause, no rest of it. All right, well, thank you. Byron Sunny acquitted on all five charges this morning. We'll go back to you.